Hi everyone. Welcome to the Coloring Our Collection Spotlight. I'm Jackie, the Cultural Fieldwork Initiative Intern in the Education Program Department at the American Philosophical Society, and I am so excited to show you who will be coloring in today. This time, we'll be focusing on the famous moon landing photo. This image symbolizes a very important moment in American and world history during the space race. Beginning in 1955, the space race became famously known for being a series of extremely competitive advancements in technology to show superiority between the United States and the Soviet Union. These tense years were global conflicts between capitalism, supported by U.S., and communism, supported by the USSR. Ultimately, the space race spiraled into one of the most high-risk and competitive times in American history, Follow me as we color in a picture of an astronaut and then learn more about this time period. So to begin coloring in our astronaut, we will be using two colors that truly exemplify the vast expanse of space, gray and black. We are first going to fill in the atmosphere with black to show the true lack of light and life on the moon. Later, you will see that we will use gray to color the moon's surface, and we will use the remaining black for the spacesuit's helmet and shadow. It is important to note that there is serenity and a calmness in the photograph and in outer space itself, but an extremely chaotic energy around the space race. This is something interesting to compare and contrast throughout our time together. To begin our session for today, we need to first understand the beginnings of the space race. The Soviets, who were U.S. enemies at the time, started off this space race with the launch of Sputnik 1, their satellite, into space October 4th, 1957. Less than a month later, the Soviets launched Sputnik 2 with a dog inside the ship named Laika. Finally, in 1958, America launches its first aircraft into the space race with a satellite called Explorer 1. Later that year, NASA, also known as National Aeronautics and Space Administration, was founded and announced to the public that they created the program to send humans into space. Do you remember the intense competition between the U.S. and Soviet Union? Well, in this race, the Soviets were winning. They accomplished many firsts, including first mission to leave Earth's orbit with Luna 1, first probe to reach Moon, Luna 2, and first spacecraft to head towards Venus. Next, the Soviets sent the first persons to fly in space on April 12, 1961. Finally, on May 5, 1961, America made their mark on the charts. Alan Shepard was the first American in space, and by 1967, the Apollo program was in full swing. The Apollo program was a series of launches accomplished by NASA during the space race era. It unfortunately had a horrific start on January 27, 1967, when three astronauts were killed by Apollo 1 capsule during a rehearsal test that ended up sparking a huge flyer, fire and blowing up the craft. After many more test runs and missions into space, NASA finally conducted its most influential mission in 1969. This was the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. With Commander Neil Armstrong, Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin, and Command Pilot Michael Collins in tow, Apollo 11 took off at Cape Kennedy in Florida on July 16, 1969. Neil would later go on to be a member of our American Philosophical Society in 2001. This was such an unimaginable event that 650 million people tuned in on their televisions to watch. They would see Armstrong take his first steps on July 20th as he supposedly said the famous quote, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil would actually say one, one small step for a man. Armstrong was then joined by Buzz Aldrin, and they spent a total of 21 hours on the moon's surface collecting specimens and materials. Before takeoff, the astronauts left a plaque on the moon that reads, Here men from planet Earth first set foot on the moon, July 1969 AD. We come in peace for all mankind. They returned safely from their trip four days later, 
on July 24th at 12.50 p.m. They landed on a naval ship USS Hornet in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. How cool. Hi everyone, I'm back again to say thank you so much for joining me on this Out of This World Color Art Collection Spotlight. I hope you enjoyed learning about the challenges during the space race and the incredible journey that astronauts took into space. If you would like to color your own space person at home, the link to the coloring page will be in the description as well as the whole coloring art collections on our digital archive page. Stay tuned for future Spotlight Histories. Thank you.